Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from the Aircraft Electronics Association show in Las Vegas, where Aspen is introducing a new EFI, or electronic flight instrument. Here's John Yusakai to explain. So the, for, for Aspen, there is a market that's been developing, uh, primarily driven by some big changes in the industry. Uh, the Part 23 rewrite and the FAA's desire to bring safe avionics to a class of aircraft that are on the lower end, the 172s, the 182s, and aircraft that uh, up to this point have been run off of uh, vacuum pump driven instruments. Um, and the FAA's desire and the industry's desire to provide more safety uh, enhancing equipment with electronic displays to become takeoff dependency on vacuum pumps. And as a result of that, us and several others in the industry have developed products uh, that provide an attitude and a DG replacement. So the, that particular drive for improving safety of that class of aircraft, along with the consumer's desire to have glass in their cockpits, because glass brings a lot of additional functionality, gives reliability, improves the value of your airplane. Um, and Aspen, saw, we saw ourselves as uniquely uh, positioned to provide a very unique product that provides a, an all-in-one piece of glass based on our architecture uh, for our TSO certified equipment. These new rules and these new desire to remove it is reduce time to market, has ability to allow us to do performance-based uh, testing, as well as take use of in-service reliability and things of that nature to bring this there. So we took our box and we, we created a version of it that was a non-TSO to STC box at a price point that makes it very competitive and makes it very desirable for an owner who wants to replace his vacuum system with an electronic device. That was really the driving impetus in us to create a product like the E5. What the E5 brings to, to it is an all-in-one piece of glass. We call it a real piece of glass. In other words, it allows us to integrate both the DG and the attitude indicator as to, to meet the requirements of replacement. And as a glass device, it also provides additional features like uh, uh, speed and altitude tapes, which on our box you can remove if you'd like to, um, and, and allows you to be able to fly in IFR conditions, full ILS, glide slope, uh, uh, and, and localizer capabilities, CDI capabilities, all those things, features that allow an aircraft owner to fly in a VFR or IFR environment. Now, in this particular box, what we've been able to do, what we've also done is we've updated the electronics in it, uh, a new piece of glass, upgrading our features to the to, to allow for a broader range of colors, more vibrant display, faster response times, all those things that you see in general in electronics today. So by providing the functionality of the pilot, as well as the new electronics and new glass, we've been able to take advantage of the situation and provide a very high quality display for a market that really didn't have, uh, didn't have access to it. We expect it to be available in shipping in mid-year of this year. Um, we'll be, we're getting all our hardware and production lined up for it, and uh, we, we expect it about mid-year. The price uh, for, the, for the initial box is $49.95, um, and uh, that provides you the capabilities to interface with autopilots and do the things you need to do.